Oh, we finally got the video we've been waiting for. You know, we've been waiting to watch X and RCC for about a month now, and some small stuff had popped up, but we finally like got quality stuff. Yes, marching vlogs, everybody. We're watching marching vlogs video of RCC today. Go subscribe to their channel. Honestly, if you're not subscribed, stop watching our video and go support them because they're putting in incredible work giving us this awesome content. So, dude, the production value of like these videos is just. I'm so jealous it's, none of this um, stuff yeah. exists from when I was marching. So kudos. Go support them. Subscribe. Give them views. Give them likes, comments. I actually saw the other day, too, they made a post about, like, reaching out to, like, high schools and stuff. Like, let us know if you, like – I think it was, like, groups that aren't going to go to Dayton or mm -hmm. something like that. I remember it was like, yeah, we'll put together, like, high-quality videos and cut scenes and, like, moments of your show. I was like, these dudes know what they're doing. It's legit. <laughs> All right. We're going to hop in real fast today. Welcome everyone, Days Jot Reacts. I'm one of the hosts, Michael Fantini, and with me as always is Evan Wall. Comment, like, subscribe on our YouTube video as well. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Hit the join button right here on YouTube if you want to support us for as little as 99 cents a month if you like what we do. All right, let's go. Let's go. This is a full run before a show six days ago. I believe the show title is Carousel. Yeah, it is. It is Carousel. Oop, let me switch the scenes. Past, Bingo. A reminder that nothing forever can last. Mm. Delicate Explos entrance. That was nice. With the That's tough. There. That's real tough. Again. I feel like that right there is a statement. Our pit's really good and communicates well, and we're going to do this like four times in a row perfectly. Yeah, it's very delicate. It's a, it's a gutsy move. I like it. A lot of hand speed changes. Mm. The roll rubato with the tempo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Great push build. and pull of time. Great build. I will say, too, if you haven't watched the show, I have seen it on the floor a couple times, like from the earlier parts of the season. Um, what's going on on the floor might not involve drumming. But I I found it very visually stimulating, like the tossing of the balls and stuff, and like it was just really playful and just cool mm -hmm. that matched yeah. what the front was doing. Yeah, it gives me vibes of like the '07 show, mm -hmm. just the playfulness of it for sure. Wow, great. Yeah. A B. Yeah. Good Little job moving the roll down. in and out. Chillerando. Drums seem exposed. Yeah. They're starting to really figure out and dial in. Yeah, the Ludwig tuning. Mm -hmm. The more ears they get into them. Great roll figures from the snare line in the opening statement. Mood shift with the front. More aggressive, darker. Look at the interval of those four mallets. Unison written battery moment. I will say, and I'm going to point this out, and it's March. We're going to talk about clarity. Like, it's that time of the season where we're going to start talking about it. Um, opening moment, sub segment wise, very good. I mean, I don't know if you heard the same thing here. That full battery moment seemed a little gray. This isn't the best, like, audio vantage point for that. But yeah, it, I mean, there's parts that are fuzzy still but and that's not to their they're detriment not, they're I not mean, alone in that statement i was getting ready you took the words right out of my mouth i mean i watched mystique on on the floor on finals uh last weekend probably it would have been the same week in this video was recorded yeah this was um, probably like a week ago now yeah and so i watched that mystique run in indy they've got dirt too 
I mean, everyone does. It's that time of year, but we have to start talking about in terms of evaluating these groups, who's cleaning up more. It's ultimately the great separator. I mean, it show is. design carries a lot, but you know, the groups that are the groups that play the most consistent or will separate themselves. Yep. So we will start talking about that from here on out. You know, we still have to do X, a lot of like the middle of the pack groups and everything. It's going to happen. Hopefully we can do X if we find some videos. Yeah. I don't know where their content is. <laughs> I know the weather has sucked in Ohio, like our part of the country, the Midwest, like a lot of rain, yeah. cold still. Like I get it, but yeah, they should. All right, let's keep going out. with them. <laughs> RCC. Here we go. Distracted. <laughs> Long day crescendo. Yeah, long day crescendo roll. This is really fast, back. two mouth work. Satisfying. Oh, hell yeah. The verticality quad to front. That was sick. Yeah, that was sick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, ta I laughed and talked over the quad Spock roll. Yeah. We're going to watch that whole fr quad <laughs> front moment again and just appreciate it and let it go through the Spock roll because... That moment that nasty. feels like a just I don't know RCC tenor to front yes. moment. They, they do that so well. They're known for their quad line. I like just... it's the quad line's good again this year. Just that is that was that just was very just, satisfying. Just listen again. We'll just get that again here. Into the open Ooh. putted a stuff yep. right after the fast roll. Pause. So the stick flip into the cold roll, finish it up. Joining in with the uh, the break drum implement at the. Jun, 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 jun. Mm. Kudos to the quad players too, going from tight fast roll to open like putted a stick control type stuff. Really quick gear shift. Wide intervals in the hands again. Mm, pitch work on the timpani. Gonna, yes, and I'm going to back up too. You had the big yeah. shots from the flat line and the battery, but then you had the – it's like a call and answer. You had the left hand of the front on the upbeats, and it was just shot and shot and – that was cool. No Let's go accuracy back a little bit. on the, the pedal tuning there. Tempest. Dude, wait – I previewed this. Wait till you hear the timpani lick that ends the show. You're going to nice. freak out. Ends it for, for now, I guess. Yeah, for now. a good full ensemble moment right there it's a ton going on a lot of interplay very cool complete tone shift right here too with the drop of a hat and just like tempo responsibility just all mm -hmm. on the bases like What an intriguing arranging with the opera voice with mm -hmm. the cymbal texture. Makes me feel appropriate drinking wine right now. <laughs> Man, just they bend and pull time so much in the There's front. There's a too. lot of push and pull in the whole show so far. I'm going to back up because I talked over that symbol moment and I want everyone to hear it. And I want to hear it. Metallic lead moment here. Metals. Thank you. 
Mm. Yeah, I'll have a six tough one in there. It's very waltz feel, this like kind of three over two. I love the peaks and valleys dynamically too. Good hi hat roll from the drum set there too. Their front seems pretty good. Their front ensemble seems very strong. <laughs> Balancing on one foot. <laughs> Calf workout. Yeah. right now i love too. hold on pause we'll go back i love yeah. too that like you know the battery is playing some like rhythmic stuff that's like pretty similar but the sticking responsibilities is changing pretty significantly obviously mm -hmm. that's where the challenge comes in for sure but it's smart because you know it doesn't muddy up things between the vertical alignment rhythmically front to back from what the battery is doing Keeps they're finding readable. ways to keep it intriguing with the sticking changes paradiddle paradiddle four four whatever changing up the stickings into the singles so that keeps it from being monotonous but like the rhythm stays very square and you know the and whole time the front's kind of going nuts that whole time too while they're doing right. that and it keeps the focus on the front ensemble and lets the battery be complimentary or an accompaniment at that moment to just make the phrase that much more effective and they're still layering in that difficulty of keeping the same rhythmic idea but they're also like you just said changing that sticking every time but the rhythm staying the chain staying the same allows it to build effect be digestible right. allow the audience to be like holy crap what's going on right now and actually just, pick up it's on like it. a long macro crescendo yes. huge build. macro build let's back up a little bit yeah we're almost done here Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude, ah. It's so good. A little AB from the yeah. keys. Trading off. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Told you. Told you oh, you were going to like it. Go back one more time. I, I told you to you were going to like that. And pay attention when we play this again. There's random <laughs> little like splash cymbal stuff in between that from auxiliary and drum set going on. Makes it even better. <laughs> yeah. I previewed this earlier and I was like, Evan's going to lose it right here. Dude, that's fantastic. So well written and performed. Playing those things like quads. <laughs> Just going hard. Yeah. Like, yep. So, nailed it. <laughs> to summarize my opinion at this point of RCC, we were kind of confused as to why we didn't see anything up to this point. And all I will say is segmental moments from the battery, like just quads, just snares, like very good already. Front ensemble seems phenomenal, in my opinion. In yeah. my humble, naive front ensemble educated brain, seems very good. Let us know in the comments if we're totally off base or if you agree, if you are a front ensemble person. I don't think but we are. the only clarity spots that still need work, and again, this is early March. They have plenty of time to clean this up and adjust things, is the full battery moments. Most of yeah. the thick gray stuff is when the whole battery is playing vertically written stuff. 
and again, not unexpected. Way more people and have just, to hit. Yeah, just some stuff at like the top end, like coming off of space, like those high rests, stuff mm-hmm. like that. I mean, stuff that just by nature requires more time to to get it dialed in. So, I mean, on on track to metal again, I, I would say more than likely. But then I'm thinking so. about it as I was previewing this, like I've mentioned a couple times so far. I was like, all right. What's my early, early, too, too early, like, top three? And I'm like, oh, well, they could be in. They could be in. I was like, oh. everybody seems – like, everyone we've seen, we still have to see X, as we alluded to earlier, in, like, a good view like this. Yeah. But the other four seem – Pulse seems phenomenal. Mystique's looks like they're having a good year. They play really well. even And, and the show for Mystique makes way more sense to me after talking to Shane. Go listen <laughs> to that if you haven't. I, I went back and watched it as soon as we got done recording, and I was like, oh, this is actually this makes way more sense. Um, right. The playing is good. Broken City's playing a lot more than the past couple years. They're doing it well. The show seems really cool this to me. This is probably my favorite Broken City show since, like, 2017. I would agree with that sentiment so far. And then RCC's playing really well. The show seems to be paced. I've seen it on the floor. I think you're looking at a dogfight yeah. in the top five, probably. Again, I'm just giving X the benefit of the doubt. They're usually in the top five. And Infinity. Like, and Infinity. Be, I mean... they going to be in there. They beat Mystique last Somewhere. year. We'll see if they're able to beat somebody again this year. Um, the show's definitely a very good vehicle to potentially do that. Um, yeah. I'm hyped to see how the yeah. next six, week plays, six yeah. weeks play, plays out. It's about to get into some real serious regionals coming up. So. Oh, yeah. So let us know what you think about RCC and anybody else in the WGI landscape so far, who you like, who you don't like. What are your thoughts on our opinions? Comment, like, subscribe. Podcast on podcast services, Facebook, Instagram, aged out podcast. Hit the join button here on YouTube if you want to support us for, for as little as 99 cents a month. And we'll see everybody in the next one. Peace.